Suniti Nam Joshi was born in Mumbai in the year 1941. She, uh, she is best known for her poems and uh, fables. She was uh, born and brought up in India. Then she migrated to Canada. Her writing style is sort of uh, playful and uh, innovative. She tries to bring up bring out new poems. And she also questions stereotypical notions and problematized concepts of racism, sexism, and homophobia. So she is a person who is concerned with the modern world. And she tries to, in her writing, she tries to analyze racism, uh, sexism, homophobia. And in this particular poem, you will, she even questions the role of the husband and wife in a family. She, uh, previously to this, she had worked as an IS officer and uh, her PhD thesis was on Ezra Pound. She was a teacher in the Department of English at the University of Toronto, Canada, and she became a full writer by 1987. And her influence would be from famous authors and writers like Virginia Woolf, Adrian Rich, Kate Millett. We move on to the this particular text. Now, this particular poem is actually inspired by a painting of the same title by Cecil Collins. So you can see the sleeping fool. The uh, here rather you find the husband or the man sleeping and the wife on a chair. So let's have an analysis of how this is done. The sleeping uh, fool. Uh, particular poem is inspired from a painting, a surrealist painting by Cecil Collins. Cecil uh, Collins, uh, this particular painting is uh, the same title is what she has taken her poem, poem and we will have an analysis of the poem now. This uh, poem actually uh, questions the stereotypical notion regarding an ideal woman. So who is an ideal woman? What should a woman do in the in, in a family relationship? And it also questions the lack of understanding of relationships. So in, in a relationship between husband and wife in the Indian family context, um, does, uh, what is the status of the wife? What is the status of the husband? So these are things which she is discussing in this particular poem. The uh, po poem, we find that the the bride or the woman is trying to be objectified by the husband and she refuses to. She just really does not want that. And she demands her subjectivity. She wants to be treated as an individual. So she want, she demands to be herself again. She wants to uh, prove to the world that she is a woman by herself. And she in, in a working relationship between the husband and wife, she wants to be no, she wants to be herself. She wants to be given. She needs to be given rights. And and towards the end, you find that she wants to regain her individuality, her identity, and place. Because generally, in the in the Indian context, the wives are supposed to submit to their husbands. So that sort of a thing, um, uh, Suniti Namjo, she is trying to uh, to question. So this is the poem. I'm, I'm going to read the poem first and then we will go on to the analysis. The Sleeping Fool. The dreamer absconds with his dream, props his stone bride beside a stream, where he washes, bathes, and gathers daisies. These she refuses. He cannot please. He runs, scampers, leaps, and weeps. He recites his verses. She keeps a pure silence. A chaste repose. What do you want? He screams. That, that which you will not grant. To be, not seem to be, to be the dreamer, not the dream. So the poem, I'm just going to anal analyze the poem. The dreamer absconds with his dream. So this is a general statement. The dreamer runs away with his dream. You dream something, but that is only a dream. It doesn't, really doesn't become a reality. And this is what's happened. Props a stone bride beside a stream. So the husband, in the face of others, you find that the husband is very loving to the wife. Uh, they, there is 
basically no quarrel and that uh, she is uh, she the husband adores the wife and but this is all on the outside so props his stone bright beside the stream where he washes bathes and gathers daisies so uh, from the outside it appears that you know he is doing everything for her uh, but this is not what she wants he cannot please he runs scampers leaps and leaps he recites his verses so he keeps doing so many things for her but somehow she doesn't want all those things he even starts uh, chanting mantras he prays and uh, tries to, uh, to you know become a good husband in front of her she keeps her pure silence her chaste repose she just you know acts as if you know these are not the things that i want finally in exasperation the husband screams and asks what do you want what else do you want i have been i'm trying to do everything for you but uh, still you don't want that and her reply is that which you will not grant the things that you will not give me that is what i want you will not give me freedom you will not let me do certain things that i want to do that is what i want to be not seem to be i want to be i want to do those things which i would like to do and not what you tell me to do so to be the dreamer and not the dreamer so i would like to be the person acting or i would like to be the person who does things in real life instead of you telling me to do the, these and these things or uh, i would like to uh, be what you call an individuality so the bride is Uh, just an analysis once again is that the bride is very unhappy at the things that her husband is doing to her, like washing her and gathering daisies for her. He is really not very happy with all these things. He because he does all these things without finding out what she wants. He he just keeps going on. So what does the lady do? She shows her displeasure, and her displeasure uh, she she shows shows it out. But then he keeps running. He scampers around. he leaps and weeps and he recites his verses all these things he does and finally in exasperation in anger he just tells her, what do you want i've been trying to do all these things for you and still uh, you are not satisfied so she says i just want to be myself and not seem to be herself so i want to be myself the the way you are doing the, the way you are doing that uh, you are not allowing me to uh, be an individual individual so she wants to be the dreamer and not the dream every word you show show to the society that i am that that i that you are doing everything for me but in in reality you are doing you are not really doing anything for me so this is not what i want i want to do something i want to be Uh, the actual person doing all these things so i don't want to be objectified and i don't want to be treated as inanimate i want my own individuality i want my own personality i want my own likes and dislikes and this is not something that you should tell me to do so this is the poem the sleeping fool by suniti nam joshi there are questions at the the end of the lesson like what does the dreamer do with with the dream so these questions we will answer please uh, look into the e litmosphere e resource guide the e resource guide is uh, available with us uh, i will uh, the number has been put into the chat box you can uh, join you, you can uh, uh, you, you can call this call up this number and join the google classroom where we will have live discussions we'll be having quizzes and we'll be having lots of other things which i'm sure that for your exam all the things that you need would be over there including a sample question and question paper so please do subscribe to the our channel english skills 1.in english skills.in is the new uh, channel and also please do look into the e resource guide it is given to you for a small payment uh, this payment is basically uh, our charges to host the google classroom and all those things so um, all the best to all of you please uh, please forward this to your friends also so that they will also be able to uh, understand and learn more ab about the lessons in litmosphere thank you once again bye